So today I'm going to be reading you a book about two of freezing. It is by Lily Toy. of everything. It's a Chinese folktale. Two of everything. Retold and illustrated by Lily Toy. Once long ago, in a humble little hut with Mrs. Mr. Hacktack and his wife, Mrs. Hacktack. They were old and very poor. What little... They ate him from a tiny garden. In a lucky year when the harvest was plentiful, Mr. Hacktack had a little extra to take to the village. There he traded turnips, potatoes, and other vegetables for clothing, lamp oil, and fresh seeds. One spring morning, Mr. Hacktack was digging in his garden. His shovel struck something hard. Puzzled, he dug deeper into the dark ground so they come, came across an ancient pot made of brass. How odd! Hmm. Hmm. Mr. Hacktack said to himself, To think that I've been digging here all these years and I've never come upon, upon this pot before. I will take it home. Maybe Mrs. Hacktack can find some use for it. The pot was big and heavy for old Mr. Hacktack. As he stumbled along, his purse, which contained his last five gold coins, fell to the ground. He tossed it into the pot for safekeeping and staggered home. His wife greeted him at the door. Dear husband, what a strange pot! Mrs. Hacktack explained, Mr. Hacktack explained how we found the pot. I wonder what we can do with it, said Mrs. Hacktack. It looks too large to cook in and too small to bathe in. As Mrs. Hacktack leaned over to peer in the pot, her hairpin, the only one she owned, fell in. She felt around the pot, and suddenly her eyes were round with surprise. <laughs> pulled out two hairpins exactly alike and two purses too. Sure enough, the purses were identical and so were the hairpins. Inside each purse were five gold coins. That means ten. That's five plus ten is ten. Mr. Hacktack was so excited he jumped up and down. Let's put my winter coat inside the pot. If we are lucky, Again, the pot will make two coats, and then we will both stay warm. So into the pot went one coat, and out came two coats. They began to search the house quickly and put more things in the magical pot. If only we had some meat, which Mr. Hacktack, or fresh fruit, or one delicious sweet cake. Mrs. Hacktack smiled. I know how we can get anything we want, she said. She put their ten coins into one purse, and then threw it into the pot. She pulled out two purses, ten coins in each. That's twenty. What a clever wife I have, cried Mr. Hacktack. Each time we do this, we will have twice as much money as before. The Hacktacks were late into the night, filling and, filling and emptying the pot till the floor was covered with coins. Gold's falling everywhere. Morning came, and off went Mr. Hacktack with a long list of things to buy in the village. Instead of vegetables, his basket was full of gold coins. Mrs. Hacktack finished all of her choice, sat down to enjoy a cup of tea. She sipped her tea and admired the brass pot. Then, with a grateful heart, she knelt and embraced it. Dear Pa, I do not know where you came from, but you are my best friend. She stooped over the pot to look inside. That very Miss moment, Mr. Hacktack returned. His arms were so full of packages that he had to kick open the door. The door opened. Bang! Mrs. Hacktack was so startled that she lost her balance and fell headfirst into the pot. Mr. Hacktack ran over and grabbed his wife's legs. 
He pulled and tugged until she slid out on the floor. When he looked at the pot again, he gasped. Two more legs were sticking out of it. Naturally, he took out hold of the ankles and pulled. Out came a second person. She looked exactly like his wife. <gasps> the new Mrs. Hacktack sat silently on the floor, looking lost. The first, but the first Mrs. Hacktack cried, I am your one and only wife. Put that woman back into the pot right now. The Hacktack yelled, No! If I put her back, we will not have two women, but three. One wife is enough for me. He backed away from his angry wife and tipped head first and fell into the pot himself. <laughs> both Mrs. Both Mrs. Hacktacks rushed to rescue him. Each grasped an ankle. Together, they pulled him out. There were two more legs in the pot, so they pulled out the other Mr. Hacktack, too. What use does one Mr. Hacktack have for another? Mr. Hacktack cried angrily. This pot is not as wonderful as we thought it to be. Now even our troubles are beginning to double. But his wife had been thinking while he was yelling. Calm down. It's good that the other Mrs. Hacktack has her own Mr. Hacktack. Perhaps that we will come best of friends. After all, we were still alike. He will be a brother to you, and she will be a sister to me. With our pot, we can make two of everything, so there will be plenty to go around. And that is what they did. The Hacktacks built two fine new homes. Each house had identical teapots, rice bowls, silk embroideries, and bamboo furniture. From the outside, the houses looked exactly alike. But there was one difference. Hidden in one house was a big brass pot. Of course, the hacktacks were always very careful not to fall into it again. The hacktacks, the new hacktacks and the old hacktacks, did become good friends. The neighbors thought that the hacktacks had grown so rich they had decided to have two of everything, even themselves. And that is the end of the book. I have a question for you, and I would like you to answer it, if you can, or ask your parents. If you could have two of something, what would you want to have two of? I can't wait to hear your answers. Bye. See you tomorrow.